shape your life and build your future at Reinhardt University. Learn in small classes taught by professors who build community as they share knowledge. Make your home on Reinhardt's beautiful campus or take classes at selected locations. For more than 130 years, the Reinhardt experience has extended beyond the classroom to include sports, music, clubs, and much more. Reinhardt University, shaping lives, building futures. At Jersey Mike's, we think no sub should be measured in inches long or seconds till served. A sub should be measured in moments, time with friends, lunch breaks unbroken. Every sub is a chance to be great. Every sub should ask the question, am I a sub or am I a sub above? Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. For more information on Reinhardt Athletics, visit the website at reinhardteagles.com. Chick-fil-A of Canton is a proud sponsor of Reinhardt University Athletics. Visit either of their two locations in Canton today. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Reinhardt Coaches Show. I'm Jason Haynes. Glad you could join us for this special look at Reinhardt's basketball programs. A little bit later on, we'll be joined by the head women's basketball coach, Lindsay Huffman. But right now, we're going to spend our time with the men's basketball coach here at Reinhardt, Jason Gillespie. Coach, glad you could join me today. Thanks for having me, Jason. Your season so far, as we tape this, you're seven and six with one more game to go in the uh, 2015 portion of your schedule. How would you feel that your season has gone to this point? We're a little disappointed based on how we've done on the court. Um, we lost a couple games that we felt like we could have won there late, especially. Um, and you know, it's, that's kind of one of the things you're going to go through from time to time with teams where you play better in spurts and play. You know, up, not completely up to your potential, and we've we've kind of done that over the course of the past couple of weeks. So, we're really trying to figure out who fits where and, and trying to improve it. You know, I, I heard a stat about the New York Giants that kind of compares to you guys in a, in its own way. If the New York Giants have played 58 minutes and 40 seconds of a <laughs> football game so far this year, they'd be like a nine and three or something like that. You guys, I think if uh, you could lop off like the last 20 seconds of some games, you guys would probably only have one loss in conference, unfortunately. Uh, some breaks, though, at the end of games didn't quite go the way I know you would have liked, but your team's been competitive pretty much every time out. Right. We've, we had one game where we didn't play particularly well on the road at Middle Georgia, and then we competed in both the NCAA Division I exhibitions we have, so we have the potential and the talent. It's just a matter of getting, getting it all fit in the right way. You know, uh, one of the things though, I know you're glad about for your team, and we'll step away from the court a little bit and focus on the student part of student athlete. Your team posted a really impressive GPA in the fall semester. Right. And, you know, this is my 13th year as a head coach at college level. I've never had a team post a GPA like they did uh, first semester. Three, three, I'm close to a 3.3. Um, you know, the vast scheme of things, the bigger scheme of things that's more important than what we're doing on the court. Now, we want to do both, obviously, but we're really proud of the fact that they got the job done in the classroom. You know, you only lost a couple of players off of last year's team uh, as far as seniors go. Uh, you've got a lot of players who've come back this year. One of those players, Corey Ricks, has uh, continued his scoring from last year and right. has been one of the uh, one of the key leaders on, on the team as far as the offense goes, especially. Sure. Corey is an outstanding wing for this league, and, uh, you know, he just he, he does things that, that make it difficult for him to be guarded. Uh, we need him to improve on the defensive side, but he does a great job of scoring the ball and uh, just kind of makes our offense go a little bit when he's on. Somebody that I've been really impressed by as far as his development goes this year has been Daquan Langston. Uh, you had a game recently against Milligan as a team. You only had three turnovers, which right. that, that might be a Reinhardt record when it comes down to it. Uh, and, and one of those big reasons is taking care of the ball, and Daquan has done a much better job this year, especially of taking right. care of the ball. Daquan and Justin Zachary have been splitting the time at the point, and they've had some outstanding assist to turnover numbers. I mean, as good as I've seen. Well, us as a team, we're doing a good job of taking care of the ball in most games. In games that we don't, we have problems winning get those games. But that Milligan game was a great uh, example of what we're capable of when we do take care of the basketball. 
you know, this, your coaching philosophy, I guess is a good way to put it, you're gonna put everybody basically that's on your bench in the game at some point. Everybody's gotta be contributing. You've got your first, you got your first wave and then you send a second wave. Sometimes there's a bit of a third wave and you just rotate guys back and forth, back and forth until you find that uh, one good set of guys is really performing well. So it's not just maybe you look at your starting five and a lot of teams it's just their starting five right. really performs. Here at Reinhardt, you know, you're going 10 deep, 11 deep every night. Well, it, that's a positive thing for us. It also can be a negative thing when guys want to play a little bit more than they're getting opportunity to play. Uh, it's, you know, we, we're deep. We are very deep. Um, we've got 15 guys that we're going to be dressing out here second semester that all could start. Every one of them could play in this league, in this conference. So what we have to try and develop is a little bit of, well, a lot of bit of humbleness. I mean, they've got to be humble about what they're doing and, and accept what, what opportunities they are given. And when they do get an opportunity to get out there on the floors, go out and play their tails off. Somebody who's taken advantage of that opportunity when he's gotten has been Nehemiah Jones. Who, oh, absolutely. Uh, he, he's really developed also as far as scoring goes. Uh, you know, his shooting, I think, this year is better than it has been last year. He just keeps on getting better and better year in, year out. Right. He's doing some more things. Uh, he's, you know, last year he struggled turning the ball over a little bit, and he is taking care of that. He doesn't turn the ball over a lot at, at all anymore. And he's doing some things defensively and then going to the glass a little bit better than he's done in the past. So he's, he's improved. He's one I, we've talked to all the time about, feel by the time he's a senior, he could be an all-conference guy. And he, he has that ability. And, you know, one of the things when you are able to play a bunch of guys, that means that guys can give all out for like five, six minutes and then turn around someone else comes in. You know, as long as they, you know, play that controlled style that you want to play, uh, you know, they can come in. Duncan Jones, I think, is one right. of the best examples of that. Somebody who gives you maximum effort and intensity for those five or six minutes he's on the floor, you know, during his shift, so Absolutely. to speak. Absolutely. He, he is. Uh, Duncan Jones, Josh Stone, uh, those are two guys. Josh Cooper. Uh, Paree Finley, those guys all come in and they play to the, usually to the max of their ability. Sometimes they make mistakes, but that's typical and that's normal. We don't, we don't mind mistakes if you're going, going hard. And um, you know, that's where we're trying to get to the point where we've got guys that, that do both, go hard and then are able to, to minimize their mistakes. To be successful as we look towards the 2016 portion of the schedule, what do you think it's got to take for your guys? Well, um, a little bit more of a coming together as a group. And, We've got, the funny thing is about this, these, this group is probably maybe the most fun group I've been around as guys. And they, they really like each other off the floor. Now it's got to get to the point where they're trusting each other on the floor and having that carry over. Coach, thanks for your time. I'll have you come back in a little bit, if you don't mind, talk with uh, Lindsey Huffman, Absolutely. our women's coach, about uh, Reinhardt, what uh, what Reinhardt brings to uh, student athletes, as sure. it were. Sure, that'd be great. Uh, coming up next, though, will be the head coach of women's basketball, Lindsey Huffman. That's coming up next on the Reinhardt Coaches Show. For more information on Reinhardt Athletics, visit the website at ReinhardtEagles.com. At Jersey Mike's, we think no sub should be measured in inches long or seconds till serve. A sub should be measured in moments, time with friends, lunch breaks unbroken. Every sub is a chance to be great. Every sub should ask the question, am I a sub or am I a sub above? Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Shape your life and build your future at Reinhardt University. Learn in small classes taught by professors who build community as they share knowledge. Make your home on Reinhardt's beautiful campus or take classes at selected locations. For more than 130 years, the Reinhardt experience has extended beyond the classroom to include sports, music, clubs, and much more. Reinhardt University, shaping lives, building futures. Chick-fil-A of Canton is a proud sponsor of Reinhardt University Athletics. Visit either of their two locations in Canton today. Welcome back to the Reinhardt Coaches Show. We're talking women's basketball now, and it's my pleasure to be joined by the a little bit under the weather, but uh, 
braving the uh, elements, so to speak, uh, to come and speak with us. Lindsey Huffman, the head coach of Reinhardt Women's Basketball Coach. Welcome. Thanks, Thanks. for coming out. Thanks for having me. Um, this season's been a little bit of a uh, testing season so far for you. The injury bug, to say it has bitten you guys, would uh, be a bit of an understatement. But uh, your team has really had to do a quick job. Some of your freshmen have had to grow up really quickly and uh, try to make this season a success in the early goings. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been unfortunate where we've had some, some key injuries very early on. Um, kind of changes the dynamic of our team. But like you said, there's pros and cons and it can be a blessing and a curse and gives some other people an opportunity to step up. And I think a lot of them have done that so far. So it's it's a good learning experience for us. One of your big contributors so far in this early season has been Jada Hubbard, a freshman out of Ringgold, Georgia, who's uh, had to step in and really taken one of the lead roles in scoring for your team. Yeah, Jada's done a great job. Um, as a true freshman, it's been um, kind of throw her into the fire, and she's responded very well. She's had the opportunity to, to show off her scoring ability, and um, she just she makes things look easy. She's a very, very smooth player, has the ability to get to the rim, and um, she just has done a great job with, with being thrown into that position pretty early on. Pretty early on she was a little unsure of herself, um, but playing 40 minutes a game, that'll get you unsure pretty quick. <laughs> and that's been one of the things that uh, your team's had to do. Uh, there were a couple games where you were basically down to six players on your team, so uh, you basically have one sub available. Um, takes a little bit of the strategy out as far as your defense goes, as far as pressuring and running the risk of getting fouls, but it also uh, makes the team maybe a little bit more focused on defense and makes uh, everyone, especially in the early season, uh, get a lot of experience that maybe they wouldn't get otherwise. Right, and it does, it changes um, some strategy stuff for us um, with the low numbers. You know, fatigue sets in pretty pretty quickly, and so that that's a tough thing that we've had to overcome, but the girls have done a good job of responding to that, and um, you know, we could think of a million excuses of why we can't do this or that, but um, the girls have, have started to to kind of take that on, and and not use excuses as, as part of our, you know, plan for this year. So, well, how would you describe your style of play that you try to coach? Our style of play would would be just tough, nitty gritty, make make the other team play ugly is kind of what we would like to do. Um, now we don't always succeed at doing that every night, but um, making you know, I'm a very defensive minded coach, so. Defense is important to us, and we try and stress that um, is, is to help, you know, try and get the other team to take tough contested shots. And like you said, it's been tough this year. We haven't been as good defensively as we have in the past, and I think fatigue has has attributed to that. You know, people who may remember you who've been around Cherokee County for a long time remember you from your high school days where you were a prolific scorer. So where did the change start to come in your philosophy where instead of uh, focusing on scoring, you start focusing, especially from a coaching style on defense? Well, as a player, I didn't play much defense at all. Um, I was not a defensive player. I'll be the first to admit that. But um, through the years and through some of the coaches that I've played for and and coached with, um, I've just realized that, that especially at this level, that um, if you can stop people and you can, you know, it doesn't take a great deal of skill to play defense. It takes some hard work and some dedication and some commitment to, to team defense. I think you can really, really have a chance to be successful if you can commit on the defensive end. And, um, and you know, we, we can find ways to score and, and you know, that comes with recruiting and and strategy too, but I just, over the years I've found that that I've, I've really liked coaching the defensive part of it because there's, a lot of it is just hard work and, and heart. One of those players who maybe individually does a great job on defense as well is Katika Favors. I know recently a game out of St. Andrews, she had five blocks, but like you were talking about, you know, offense can come sometimes, you know, through defense she ends up She's a player who can get you a double double seemingly every night. She can, uh, she can, uh, she's averaging actually almost a double double as we tape this with 11 points and just under 10 rebounds a game. But uh, she also can pick it up on the defensive end as well, making it a real challenge for post players on the other side. Yeah, Katika's she's stepped up um, 
tremendously this year, and she has she has so much athletic ability. It's just insane. But when she when she comes and, and helps on our help side defense and and affect shots and block shots, um, we're tough defensively, and it it really makes our our man to man defense a lot stronger um, when she goes and commits to help and. She has the great ability to, to alter and affect shots, and that just that makes us a lot stronger. One of the players I know you have to be happy that's had a, a successful early going has been Laura Molinax, someone who uh, you know went through a lot of health problems, um, had to have some major surgeries, but has come back, has been a, a vital player on this team, actually hit the game-winning shot against uh, Bob Jones at the buzzer to uh, get Reinhardt a win. But uh, I know this is somebody that, uh, you know, maybe not a lot was going to be expected of her on the court at the start of the year when you're looking at what you have with your roster. But then as injuries uh, beset your team, she ends up going out there and playing about 20, 30 minutes a night and is really giving it her all for this team. Yeah, I can't say enough about Lauren. She's just, she's one of our seniors and she's been here for four years with me. and. Um, she's just she's the toughest kid <laughs> that we have. Um, she's been through a lot, like you said, and um, her dedication. She gives me everything she has when she's on the court, and um, sometimes that's physically uh, not as much as as some of her opponents. But she never she never stops, and she she has been thrown in to where she had to play a lot of minutes um, with our injuries, and you know she's responded to that and has done a great job for us. She's shooting the ball well, and um, she gives us a boost offensively, especially from the three-point line. Let's talk a little bit about uh, conference play. I know it didn't start the way you wanted to, partly because of your injuries, but I know you're not going to use that as an excuse. Um, but this team got its first conference, went out of St. Andrews, and had a big fourth quarter, outscoring the nice 24-4 to in the fourth quarter. Do you expect to see something like that continue on as we uh, pick back up conference play at the first of the year? Yeah, we're, I mean, we're dedicating, you know, practices and, and things that we do to, to really work a little bit harder so that we can, can start knocking some folks off in the conference. And um, I think we're right there. And kind of our game leading up to St. Andrews was a, a tough Bernal game that I thought we should have had, and we were right there. But, um, you know, sometimes we, we need that win for our morale, and I think that boosted us. But... Um, we, I, I feel like there's a lot of winnable games in our conference, and um, no matter how many players we have, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna fight for them. And I think we can can really knock some folks off. What do you think as we look towards the second half of the year, the 2016 portion of the schedule, if you will? Um, what do you think it's going to take for your team to be successful moving forward? We have to be very, very efficient um, on the offensive end and we've got to be um, almost perfect on the defensive end. And that's, that's a tough, sounds, you know, sounds a little overwhelming, but um, with, with our personnel and what we have right now, we've got to um, really stop some folks defensively. And you know, we can't get in the business of trading baskets with people. We don't, we don't win that battle. Um, but doing the little things, if we can do the little things better than our opponent, I think we, uh, we definitely have a shot. Okay, Coach, thanks a lot for joining us today, and uh, best of luck the rest of the uh, season. I know that it's been a trying start to the year, but uh, I'm sure that uh, better days are definitely ahead for your team. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And uh, we're going to have Coach Huffman stick around, and we'll bring back in the head coach of men's basketball, Jason Gillespie. They're going to talk a little bit about uh, Reinhardt University and uh, what draws students that they recruit to Reinhardt. That's going to be coming up next on the Reinhardt Coaches Show. Chick-fil-A of Canton is a proud sponsor of Reinhardt University Athletics. Visit either of their two locations in Canton today. Shape your life and build your future at Reinhardt University. Learn in small classes taught by professors who build community as they share knowledge. Make your home on Reinhardt's beautiful campus or take classes at selected locations. For more than 130 years, the Reinhardt experience has extended beyond the classroom to include sports, music, clubs, and much more. Reinhardt University, shaping lives, building futures. At Jersey Mike's, we think no sub should be measured in inches long or seconds till serve. A sub should be measured in moments, time with friends, 
lunch breaks unbroken. Every sub is a chance to be great. Every sub should ask the question, am I a sub or am I a sub above? Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. For more information on Reinhardt Athletics, visit the website at reinhardteagles.com. Welcome back to the Reinhardt Coaches Show, joined by Coach Gillespie and Coach Huffman once again. And uh, Coaches, I'd like to talk a little bit about Reinhardt. And uh, when it comes to recruiting the kids that you recruit to come to Reinhardt, uh, Coach Gillespie, I'll start with you. What are the types of things that uh, they say to you that they really notice about Reinhardt? I know the biggest thing that we get comments on, um, our, our guys that we bring in as recruits really feel comfortable with the, the way they're treated and the way they're interacted with. Um, they, they comment all the time about the people of Reinhardt um, and how they feel like they're valued um, as, as recruits, not only as student athletes. So they're, they're very um, pleased with, with how they're, they're interacted with when they come on campus, whether it be with admissions, whether it be the business office, financial aid. Um, just professors, um, they, they're really high, highly thought of. Coach Huffman, I'll ask you the same thing. What do recruits talk about about Reinhardt to you? Yeah, I think kind of what Jason said is, is the people here. And that's the first thing. And it's very, very much a family environment. Um, you know, we're not a, not a huge school, but um, the people here just make it so, so close knit. And, and like Coach said, it's, it's everywhere from admissions, it's the, the different athletic teams here on campus that um, you know we really are our family and I think they get that sense when they come here and they meet meet the folks here. You know your two teams travel together to all the conference games uh, especially. What, uh, what's that bonding experience like between the two teams? Do you, is it seen, does it bring the teams closer together when uh, when you get back to campus, uh, you know, what, what's that dynamic like between the two teams? Coach Gillespie, I'll start with I, you. I think it's really good. We root for each other. I know we as coaching staffs really get along well and we root for each other. Um, when they lose, we feel bad. When, when they win, we're ecstatic for them. And uh, same, it's, it seems to be the same case for our student athletes. They, they have to travel with, with each other and they get to know each other a little bit better than maybe some other teams on campus do. Uh, so it's kind of a unique situation where most other teams don't travel outside of maybe soccer, um, travel together. So uh, it's, it's, been, it's a lot of fun because they've got a good group of girls and I, I think we have a good group of guys. Coach Huffman. You know, it's a good experience because both teams um, get to spend a lot of time with each other and they support each other. They get to, you know, after our games are done, we get to sit and, and watch all the men. And uh, it's just, you know, it is a good experience to have that support um, that you know you're going to have that support on the road with some of your own people. So, If I were to ask each of you what type of student athlete you recruit, Coach Gillespie, let me start with you. What type? Huh, that's a good question because you never know what you're getting with an individual until you get them on campus and get to work with them. Ideally, we want guys that are going to work their tail off on the court and in the classroom um, and then be good people off, off the court. Um, we feel really good about the kind of guys that we have as far as that goes right now. So um, that's our ideal. Coach Huffman, what type of athlete do you recruit? Um, we really go after the, the very good student, high character type student athlete. Um, somebody that's gonna come in and fit well in this environment um, that's coachable. Again, you don't always, you can't always tell that right away, um, but we usually have a pretty good feel you know, of their, from their background and, and um, you know, the coaches that they've played for, et cetera, so. I know that every student athlete is different as far as what you recruit them based on talent-wise. Uh, but when it comes to Reinhardt itself, what do you, Coach Huffman, I'm gonna start with you on this one. What are you able to try to sell student athletes on most about Reinhardt, what do you say? Um, well, we sell them on facilities here because we have such such a great great facilities. Um, we sell on location. You know, we you know just because we're tucked away in Waleska, we're very close to Atlanta and, and Canton and Metro Atlanta, and so um, I think our location is great. Um, and our size, our our school size of you know 
the the one-on-one -on -one attention that they can get in the classroom is is a huge plus for us and a lot of a lot of the student athletes that we recruit um, don't have the opportunity to play at you know these huge division one schools where they're kind of a you know just a number so the opportunity for them to come in and make an impact and and have the opportunity to play I think um, is something that's important to some of the student athletes that we recruit that they have that opportunity to to make a direct impact right away. Coach Gillespie, I'll ask you the same thing. Selling Reinhardt's an easy thing um, based on just the fact that this is a, a smaller campus but it feels like a bigger campus and the attention that they get on this campus from not just from coaches and the, and the you know, training staff here and the, and the administration here on the, on the athletic side but it's across the board. I mean, we've had some guys that have had some struggles academically and we get communicated with as coaches to be able to help them out and we've kind of worked together as a team uh, to get that done. A lot of small colleges don't have those programs in place. Bigger schools absolutely do. But smaller colleges don't necessarily have those in place where, where we do and that's a that's an incredibly positive thing to be able to have. Coach Gillespie, Coach Huffman, thanks a lot for your time today and uh, best you. of luck in the 2016 portion of the schedules. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. And that's going to wrap it up for the Reinhardt Coaches Show. I'd like to thank Coach Gillespie and Coach Huffman for being here with us today. For more information on Reinhardt Athletics or to possibly be recruited by these two coaches, visit ReinhardtEagles.com. Both these coaches have questionnaires on our website that you can fill out if you're a recruit who's interested in coming to play for the Eagles or Lady Eagles. Until next time, I'm Jason Haynes. Glad you could join us. We'll see you next time on the Reinhardt Coaches Show. For more information on Reinhardt Athletics, visit the website at ReinhardEagles.com. At Jersey Mike's, we think no sub should be measured in inches long or seconds till serve. A sub should be measured in moments, time with friends, lunch breaks unbroken. Every sub is a chance to be great. Every sub should ask the question, Am I a sub or am I a sub above? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Shape your life and build your future at Reinhardt University. Learn in small classes taught by professors who build community as they share knowledge. Make your home on Reinhardt's beautiful campus or take classes at selected locations. For more than 130 years, the Reinhardt experience has extended beyond the classroom to include sports, music, clubs, and much more. Reinhardt University, shaping lives, building futures. Chick-fil-A of Canton is a proud sponsor of Reinhardt University Athletics. Visit either of their two locations in Canton today.